anti-Semitism is either ignored or classified as a general hate crime against those who are different, or it's classified as rage because of people's economic conditions, or it is justified and explained away as a protest because of Gaza, etc., etc. Uh, this is a very dangerous phenomenon. And uh, it has to be classified for what it is, Jew hatred. They want to kill and destroy the Jewish people. If they don't have the courage to try to actually kill, they'll slap someone, a lady in the street. If, they, if they're able to get a machete, they'll stab people in the snogger. These people want to destroy the Jews. Anti-Semites throughout history have had one purpose, destroy the Jews. In some cases, as in the case of the Inquisition and the, Cru the Crusades and the Inquisition through forced conversions, threat of death will disappear if we become Christians. In the case of Muslims, yes, there was, there, there was tolerance for the Jews, but there was always pressure to convert. There was always the jizya, the special tax the Jew had to pay just to live. They want to destroy the state of Israel because that is the Jewish state, the only Jewish state in the world. They want to boycott and divest and sanction the state of Israel because that's the only Jewish state in the world. They ignore human rights abuses in other places, North Korea and Libya and Syria and Yemen. They ignore uh, tragedies of epic proportions that are being done towards Christians by Muslims that are done to being done by towards Muslims by by by. Uh, Malaysia, it's by sorry, not Malaysia, by uh, against the Rohingya in Burma. All these are ignored. They're only focused on Israel because Israel is a Jewish country. They want to destroy it. They want to destroy us. They want to destroy the Jewish people. If we don't recognize they're out to destroy us, if we explain away anti Semitism with stupid ideas like rage or ignorance or economics or all that type of explanation, then we are going to fall into the uh, even worse anti-Semitism because these people will get away with it. Uh, explanations that are given by politicians, by leftists, by the media, sometimes blaming the victim, sometimes uh, blaming uh, uh, white supremacists when an attack was done by an African-American, uh, blaming President Trump when attacks were done by people who hate President Trump. I mean, this is this is ludicrous. It's anti-Semitism. They hate Jews and they want to destroy the Jewish people. We're here to tell them. Hanukkah candles are here to tell us. We're here to stay. You will not succeed. God guaranteed us that we will be an eternal people. He guaranteed us he will bring us back to Israel. He guaranteed us that we will have a redemption. And he guaranteed us that those haters, those evil people, the anti-Semites, will in the end of history not survive. And we will survive. Have a great, wonderful Hanukkah. Despite all the tragic events, we are still celebrating Jewish survival. We're still celebrating the covenant that God has with the Jewish people. We're still celebrating the light that the Jewish people bring into this world something not recognized by these people, but something that we as Jews and many others recognize the light that the Jews have brought to the world and to understand that that light will never, ever be extinguished. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parsha Vlog. Have a happy Hanukkah.